Chance now to uh, check out a, a talented amateur making the move to the pro ranks. He's a former England international, junior ABA title holder. Been doing a bit of training in France in the build up to this one. Against Gatti Scuja, Lavian, living in Bethnal Green, been stringing together a few results of late, including a first start round stoppage win last time out. Second down, first round. Here's the latest amateur to turn over. Let's see how Daniel Herdman makes the transition to the paid ranks. Former England international up against Gattis Scuja, busy enough pro. This over four rounds. The silver of Herdman and those sparkly boots. Off we go. Yep, off we go. Big night in his life, his first pro fight. And uh, I mean, this could be a busy one. Scooter's had 15. He's not won many. But he's a uh, competitive, game willing. Tries hard. Now living here in Bethnal Green, the Latvia. Body shot from Scooter. And again. There's always the danger your first pro fight, you're a little bit too eager to impress. But, eh. Uh, Nice combination bust there from Herdman. Yeah, we saw that with Nicky McDonald a while ago. He lost his uh, professional debut, went back to the amateur ranks. And Herdman believes that he's got the style that will suit the game. He's smiling his way through as he tries to land his own body shots. Maybe he wants to think about using his skills a little bit more than just going out there and trying to blast through Scooja. I mean, he's maybe had a look at the record and thought, uh, this is an easy touch, but it's not an easy touch. This is one where he's going to have to work. So, use the skills, certainly in the first couple of rounds. When you, when you meet opponents head-on at this stage, you're fighting their kind of fight and making it hard for yourself. And that's what Herman is doing in the opening round. And Scooja just hammering away to the body himself. Nervous energy from Herdman. Wants to make an impression, get the job done quickly. Not totally settled in there. No, I expected to see the job. I expected to see him using a bit, a bit of his talents. Uh, but he's opted to do it the hard way, as I say, maybe just a little bit too fired up. Yeah, it's not the multicolored one of uh, Herdman. It's Scooges. And it'll just give Herdman a few seconds to relax because he is really hyped up for this. Yep, I think they want to be cooling his head down at the end of this one. He's, he's certainly landed the better punches in the opening round. I think the corner will be looking forward to getting him back and putting a bit more method into what he's doing. Certainly fighting Scooja's kind of fight in the opening round. Right hand from Scooja. Just a gulp of air there from Herdman. It's been quite a tough opening round for the professional debutant from Stevenage. Round two. In the second of four, we're watching the uh, first outing of Daniel Herdman, the 23-year-old former junior ABA champion in 2001, up against Gattis Scooja, who's won two out of four this year, and there's a right hand that troubles Herdman. This is no foregone conclusion. Well, when the match was made, I, I reckon this could be a tough one for him. It's difficult because... He wants to change what he's doing, but he doesn't want to lose the initiative. And uh, he certainly seemed to have lost that in the first half minute of the second round here. Scooja not overawed at all. He's had more success of late first round stoppage just a few weeks ago against Fred Smith, another debutant. And he wants to burst another bubble here. Body shots, and Herdman fights back. 
Right, Herman, he's taken a couple of solid uh, right hands to the body, which can't be doing his case too much good. But still for me, OK, obviously I haven't seen him box before, but it uh, looks like the wrong tactics. He's adopted his cut over the right eye as well. Left hand to the body did get home from Herdman, but that's a bad looking cut by the right eye. Oh, what a start to his pro career. He's having it hard in there. And these body shots from the committed Gassi Skuja, who wants this win badly. Yep, and seeing the blood has revved him up even more. I wonder, will this be. A night uh, Herdman will want to forget, he's certainly struggling badly at the moment. A troublesome second round, body shots going in from Scooja, growing in confidence as he backs Herdman up. Where are the cool skills that made him a successful amateur? I think sometimes kids come through and they expect the first couple of fights they're going to be one or two round blowouts, maybe the husband's expecting here tonight. And that was never the case. This is not an easy match to be starting with. But he's made it even harder. Good action in this second session. And that cut worsening. And Scooter just driving himself forward, isn't he? I mean, the referee hasn't stopped the action there to look at the cut, which is thankful because that just puts the panic stations in. But it is a nasty looking cut. Right hand from Scooter. Winking badly. Herdman. Oh, that's a really, really hard round. The two rounds, a cut eye, maybe a broken hand. He was hurt to the body. That eye's closing too. Well, the only other thing that can go wrong is he's going to lose his debut, and that looks very, very possible. He's struggling with both hands, so if in fact. One of his hands is badly damaged, he says broken, but obviously there's no way he can know that. But uh, that was a disastrous second round for him. Wincing in pain. This is a harsh welcome to professional boxing. You box for England, said Tony Sims. Former reps and representative Daniel Herman in trouble here against Gaddis Skuja. Might have to dig very deep in only his first start. Good body shot from Herman. Can he come back and win this fight? That'll be something it will show us a bit about his heart for starters. Well, he's probably shown that already, although we've only seen a couple of rounds, but. Uh... He's just going to have to try to grind out a result here. It's too late. I think he's set his ways tonight. He's not going to start moving around boxing this fellow. And if he does, uh, Scuja may take that as a sign of weakness. So he's just going to have to carry on with the tactics he's adopted. And I don't know that they're going to work. All the attention, quite rightfully, in between rounds in the red corner but I bet Jerry Mortimer in the blue one has just sent Gary Scooter out and said just keep chipping away getting the body shots in and you get the result I mean he's gasping for air there Herdman I mean I don't think he could have believed his pro debut was going to be as tough as this and still those shots to the ribs from Scooter Herdman comes back Proud are really enjoying this in Bethel Green. Well, Herdman's using his left hand just to, Well, he's boring into the head. I don't think there's anything cynical about it. Herdman's using his left hand okay. Nothing from the right so far. Jab right into that cut on the right eye of Daniel Herdman. They were really working on it in the corner. Back he comes with another body shot. Smiles there, Scooja. Is he enjoying it in there? What a good fight, Jim. And I tell you, full credit to Herman the way he's hanging on in there and just trying to grind out this performance. It's a struggle. He seems to be well, he's throwing the right hand now, or at least uh, boasting with it. Yep, there it goes. Hopefully, false alarm. 
grueling three rounds. Right hand of Scooja. Throws that left to the body well, Herdman, when he gets it in. But are enough landing. And he's taking far too many, Herdman. His defence, very, very poor. I think he's coming in here tonight with the wrong idea. He's probably sold quite a few tickets. These body shots are sapping. Especially with the left hand there of Scooja, who's only got two knockouts in his 15 fights. And he's wearing down Herdman. Herdman is certainly showing guts and spirit and some good solid punching. But uh, he started off wrongly here and he stuck with that. Now he's no choice. He looks like he's been through nine or ten rounds. too late to do anything, they're just going to have to leave him, they're going to have to pump him up and uh, just keep him going with the tactics he's got and see if he can grind out a result. He needs this next round to, to go home with a draw on my card because he's been outworked and these are sapping body shots that Scudia is landing. Digging them in and for too long nothing coming back from Herdman. So he's making it look as though he's struggling, whereas Scudia is always fired up, always knows that he's the one who can't wait to get back into action again. They're using the full minute to try and repair him, mentally and physically, Daniel Herdman. He grimaces Herdman at the beginning of the fourth round. Get some time because there's Vaseline that needs to be wiped off by Jerry Mortimer. My word, Daniel Herdman will know in the morning what he's been through. And he might be out a while after this as well without eye damage. Well, any thoughts he had about picking up where he left off and the amateurs, I think, are gone now. Must realise what a tough, tough business he's in now. Gasping for the new taking in big breast this early in the last round. Gritting his teeth. Might be a question of who will outlast the other here. Scooja does seem pressure, and he's winning this. Yeah, but he's the one who's up for it. I think Herdman is the one who's looking forward to the final bell. This is not what he was expecting for Scooja. I think it's the opposite. I think he's doing better than expected. So he's the one just with that little bit of drive. Herdman, the one struggling. They're trying to dig deep, Herdman. He just sold the tickets. Slings in a left hook to the body, more out of hope than expectation. Scooja has run him down. Chopped him apart. The body shot back from Herdman. Will he find the one punch needed? Splendid stuff, this, in a little four-rounder. I mean, it's a tremendous battle, the fans are loving it, but it's certainly not what Herdman and his camp are looking forward to. This is tough. The two of them battle away. With just over the minute to go. Turn south for Herdman. You're right, Jim. He wants his final battle, doesn't he? Yeah, of the two, he's the one who's not all that happy. He's, he's having to stick with it and just to force himself to keep going here. Full credit, he's done pretty well in the last round here. Maybe just nicking the draw on my card. Don't know if the referee will see it differently. But on my card, he needs this to go home without a defeat. It's not great quality in Scooter's punching now. Just pushing the shots, he's obviously feeling the pace as well. He tries the uppercut. Not much accuracy in this last session. But a mini war between these two. He came into the ring full of buoyant Daniel Herdman and his sparkling outfit. He's gritting his teeth, coming back well here in the fourth round. Will he get a, a share of this? Well, I have him squaring things up, I have it all squared, but I have to see Adam, if you made me, if you forced me to pick a winner, I think I would lean towards Scudia for what he's put into this. But what a baptism for young Herdman. Bob Williams is giving it to Gattis Scudia. 
and maybe deservedly so. He put a lot into that, he landed a great deal of body shots. He drove Daniel Herdman back, the crowd boo, but they're largely Herdman supporters. And, as you said, a baptism of fire yeah, for Herdman. You can't argue with that, he fully deserves it, as I said, I had them all squared mathematically. I wonder if the referee scored any rounds even. I had it two rounds apiece, but as I say, if I had to lean towards who deserved it more, that would be Scudia. You can see the stats, they were pretty even. Exhausted after those four rounds, Daniel Herdman. Well done, get it, Scudia, an upset here. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Bob Williams scores the contest 39 points to 37 in favour of your winner from Bethnal Green, Gattis Scudia. Well, what about Daniel Herdman? I mean, it's tough in the pro ranks, particularly when he's had such a good amateur career. What an introduction to the world of the pros. They, they, they could have picked a, an easier opponent for him because that guy had experience. He, he, he could huddle his way through the fight. And he, there wasn't much preservation there uh, as far as Herdman was concerned because those kind of fights, you want to do it like 